I'm John Strang, Extension Horticulturist in the University of Kentucky College of Agriculture. Uh, today we're going to be discussing the pruning of thorny and thornless blackberries. Okay, we're going to prune some thorny blackberries today. Uh, these are varieties like Kiowa or Chickasaw, some of the larger fruited varieties. Uh, the best time to prune blackberries is usually the latter part of February in that period, preferably before the buds start uh, expanding or growing. Uh, and that gives you plenty of time to get your lime sulfur or sulfur spray on for uh, uh, anthracnose and de disease control. Uh, these blackberries are erect thorny blackberries and the reason we prune these is to increase fruit size, get rid of diseased wood and get rid of wood that might have uh, redneck cane borer in it. So the first thing you do is come in and take out some of these main canes. Let me explain how blackberries grow. The first year, most blackberries produce a cane that doesn't fruit. That's called a primocane. There are some exceptions with the uh, primocane fruiting blackberries. Uh, the second year, that cane winters over and it becomes a flora cane. And this is the cane that flowers and fruits. And on a blackberry, these buds on these laterals uh, will produce a fruiting shoot that terminates in a fruit cluster. So wherever you've got these buds, you've got fruit clusters coming out. First thing we want to do is eliminate some of these bigger cane or smaller canes. The bigger canes are the ones that produce the biggest fruit and we want to keep this row fairly narrow, about 12 inches wide at the base. This one's getting kind of wide so we're going to take a few of these off on the outside over here that are uh, getting out of bounds. Uh, of course gloves are real important for pruning uh, uh, thorny blackberries. We're going to re remove a couple of these laterals that are down here close to the ground because when these fruit, they'll lay fruit on the, on the ground. We want to thin this out taking the spindlier canes out and leave the larger canes since the larger canes are the ones that produce the largest fruit. And we want to thin this down to about uh, four to six canes per hill or as blackberries produce uh, canes, they sucker up and this row can get very wide eventually. So that's why we're getting this down to about a foot wide and uh, uh, four to six canes per hill or about six canes per foot a row. So right now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six canes. So we're in good shape on this one. The next thing we want to do is cut all of these laterals back to about 12 to 16, whoops, 16 inches in length. And what that does is it makes harvest much easier. You're less liable to get hooked on these uh, longer uh, canes. Now you want to get rid of these canes. Uh, don't leave them out here because these are sources of uh, disease material. And of course, once these blackberries fruit, uh, that cane starts dying. So those flora canes need to be taken out of the plant. Now ideally, if you can get in there, it's a good idea to take them out uh, after they finish fruiting in the latter part of the summer. Uh, these are a little bit difficult to uh, see what you have when, you're, uh, when they have leaves on. So some people will take them out in the fall and uh, some people will just leave them till springtime and take them out. The quicker you get them out, the less you have chance you have of diseases transferring from those old canes to the new ones. The, the uh, dead fruiting canes have already been taken out of this, this plant. So there we have a blackberry that's finished, well, just about finished pruning. Two, 
three, four, five, six. We've got six of the larger canes left, so we've got a lot of potential fruit production on this blackberry. Okay, this is a thornless erect blackberry. This variety happens to be Wachita. Several of the other varieties of this are Apache and, and the newest one, Natchez. Uh, these are pruned very similar to the thorny blackberries. Uh, these put up a primocane the first year. It winters over. The second year it becomes a floricane, which is what we've got here. And what we need to do is thin these out. First thing you do is go in and look for redneck cane borer. We didn't see any of that on the thorny blackberries, but here's a nice example over in this one right here. This swelling on the cane right here, and we want to uh, eliminate that. Unfortunately, that's a nice big cane, but uh, we'll have to, to take it out. And uh, if you cut this lengthwise, you can see the redneck cane borer uh, inside. This is a beetle that uh, lays its eggs on the canes during the summer and then the little larvae crawls down and lives in the uh, uh, pith area of the cane. Uh, this is overwintering in this cane and so we want to cut this out and get rid of it and burn it so it doesn't propagate and become more of a problem. If you have two or more of these on a cane it will kill the cane above this so we don't want this building up in our planting. Okay on this blackberry again we want to leave the larger cane so we're going to take out the the smaller canes that tend to produce uh, small fruit. And uh, we'll narrow this down. Typically you take a third to a quarter of the total number of canes out here uh, and take them out at the, at the base. Again, as with the thorny blackberries, the biggest canes produce the largest, nicest fruit. Uh, these will send up suckers out here. This one is running more as a, a hill type plant. Uh, pruning is very important on these to get good production for the next year. Remember these are perennial crops and if you overcrop them one year you won't have very much cane production uh, for the next year. Um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. We've still got quite a few canes in there. I'm going to take one more of the spindlier ones out. And then we're going to cut all the laterals back to about 16, 18 inches in length. Uh, these thornless erect blackberries are the lower yielders of the blackberry types, although the yields are coming up on some of the newer varieties. Uh, most of these have been developed in the Arkansas breeding program. If they're really tall, we may take some tips off of these. Now one thing we didn't talk about on the thorny blackberries was summer tipping these. And when these primocanes are coming up, typically we will pinch the tip out at about this level here, at about three, three and a half feet. That causes that cane to branch and gives us our fruit production down here, makes it a little stiffer, helps those canes stand up a little bit better. Uh, but uh, that's a little wimpy one there, we'll take that out. Uh, these ones that are down here real close to the ground we'll take out because they'll just produce fruit that, that lay on the ground. And uh, This is a, a two-wire trellis that kind of catches these canes in between, which is nice, which means we don't have to do a lot of tying on these. Uh, if you're on a two-wire trellis, you'll need to tie these canes up to the trellis to keep them from falling down. Uh, when we've got a heavy fruit load on. So when you tie a cane to a trellis you make a tight tie around the wire and then a loose tie around the cane because that cane will expand during the season and you don't want to girdle the cane. So uh, we're about done with this one and uh, we're ready for the uh, fruit production season here which will occur in uh, usually July and, and August. Uh, these are the second of the blackberry types to mature fruit. The thorny ones come in first, then we have the thornless erect that come in, and now we're going to go take a look at a thornless semi-erect blackberry. Okay. This is a thornless semi-erect blackberry. These are the highest producers of the 
uh, blackberry types. These are the most profitable for commercial growers. The berries are large and unfortunately the seeds are a little larger and that goes along with a larger berry. Uh, these are pruned very similarly to the uh, erect thornless blackberries. This is a variety called Triple Crown. This is one of our sweeter varieties of this type. And these tend to grow more in a, in a crown type plant. So again, we're going to take the spindly canes out. And uh, probably take this one out. We've got this down to our core canes. Here's a stub of one of the uh, canes that produced last year. You can see that that one is uh, pretty dead. Okay, then we're going to cut the laterals back to 16 inches in length, just as we did with the erect thornless uh, varieties. And these are summer tipped sometimes. Sometimes we just let them grow. It just depends on the person. Uh, if we summer tip them, that'll cause lateral branching down here where we'd like to have our fruit. This is a little weaker plant. Uh, some of these plants will get uh, two to three times this, this size. This one has a lot of lateral branches and a lot of fruit producing wood on it. Now this plant doesn't have it, but occasionally you'll have a real strong cane that arises from down here. And instead of cutting it off, we may just train that up on the trellis and treat it like a, a, a main cane. So. Uh, Okay, that one's done.